Welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. Today I'm going to show you how to do the descaling on the Anima Prestige. It is very similar to the rest of the Anima range. So if you, are, if you have an Anima or an Anima Deluxe, they will be very similar. The Anima Prestige has got a carafe. So you would normally fill the water in the carafe about halfway, extend this um, dispenser, and that's how you would start your descaling process. So at the moment, if you see the screen, you have the descaling start calc clean. Now you can enter this mode manually by going into the menu, going down to descaling, and getting to this menu. But if you uh, find that the you have come to the level where uh, the machine prompts a descaling action that would actually uh, come up with that message as well. So if when that message comes on you have either to escape if you don't want to descale by pressing the top button or if you wanted to start descaling you would actually start your descaling process. So to do that we need a descaling liquid uh, which is the Gagea descaler that I'm using. It's a liquid descaler. Uh, it, you can use other descalers but we recommend the Gagea descaler and we have also tested the pulley sachets of powder which you can mix with water and then put it in. So I have already put the descaling solution into the water tank. So what you do is you will put this one into the disc, uh, into the tank, fill it up to the maximum level on your water tank. So that's what you do first. Now I'm going to start the process by pressing the the button. That is the, the, the bottom right hand button which is called aroma strength which also is a tick. That means it's enter. So I'm going to do that. So it's asking me to put the carafe. I've already done that. And also it's asking me to extend the uh, carafe as well, which I have already done. So I'm going to press the button. It immediately starts the descaling process. So you need to make sure that you have got a, a large enough container uh, to collect water. So it's going to go to the first level of descaling and you really follow through whatever it asks you to do. If the water level goes down, you need to fill the water tank uh, to refresh water. So it's going to pause for a little while because it's going to work through the system. So the descaling solution and the water that you have put in is being dragged in and it's left there for a little while. And it keeps on doing, you know, pumping of uh, water from time to time. So you just have to leave it and go and have maybe a cup of tea because you haven't got your coffee machine. <laughs> so uh, that's what you do. So let me carry on with that and come back and show you what it does. So let's wait for that to happen. So I'm going to stop the video now so that you know uh, that is happening now. We'll come back and go to go on to the next stage. It's also a good thing to have an extra container, large enough container, so that you can, uh, if you fill that, if you if you have uh, got to the uh, maximum on your container you can keep on changing them so that's another good thing to to do uh, while while we do this I'm just wanting to let you know what else is needed to maintain on this machine there is a, a video on diagnostic mode uh, on anima uh, that's test mode or diagnostic mode that's really a good thing to know so have a look at the video uh, on test modes the other thing that you need to do, of course, regular maintenance of your uh, brewing unit. So once you have finished all your um, descaling, it's a good thing to take out the uh, brewing unit and give it a good clean, which you need to do every week. Uh, make sure that that is nice and clean. You also need to 
to lubricate the uh, brewing unit from time to time. There is another video that shows how to lubricate uh, the, the brewing unit on all our automatic machines. You also need to do a degreasing uh, because coffee oils can get blocked within uh, the dispensing arm as well as on your brewing unit. So you, are, you can actually do the degreasing with uh, some tablets which you can put in through your uh, pre-ground chute and that will allow you to do that. There are instructions on your instruction manual so please read them. All you do is you just put it in and do a rinse cycle that will actually uh, do that for you. Uh, the other things that you need to be uh, aware of are the carafe itself on this one. So make sure that you clean the carafe. You can take it out and put it in the fridge if you wanted to, uh, if you have milk. Uh, once, but on a regular basis, it's a good thing to give it a clean. We we actually do milk cleaning powders on our website. We do the descaling uh, liquids, the pulley descaler, and the milk cleaning powder, and those are really good things. The, you, you, I don't know whether we do the lub lubricant, but if you do need the lubricant, have a look at our website. If you haven't uh, seen that, just give us a call. Uh, and we should be able to get it for you. Uh, tanks need to be cleaned as well so take it out and give it a rinse from time to time um, and of course the general cleaning of your drip tray and uh, and the drag drawer. So those are things that you would do normally on a on any automatic machine. One thing that I find useful is uh, when you take the brewing unit out and rinse it under the uh, under uh, running water just make sure that you have a brush and take out any ground coffees that are there do not put it through a dishwasher and do not use boiling hot water lukewarm is okay cold water is fine so you're just getting rid of the coffee oils there is also a deep cleaning video on our website uh, which actually is quite a good one if you haven't if you, if you have used the machine for a long time and you wanted to get a good clean uh, you can almost dismantle all the parts on a brewing unit which you can actually find on on one of our videos done by uh, uh, the american part of gadget and feel free to have a look at that. It is on our uh, website, gadgetdirect.com. There are lots of videos on gadgetdirect.com on cleaning. Also uh, about coffee, what sort of coffees that you would use on, uh, on a machine like this. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of see how long it takes uh, and then come back to finish the uh, descaling. It, it will ask me to uh, re, uh, sort of refill the water tank at some point. It'll also, so it's doing it through both sides at the moment. So really I'm not doing anything at all as you can see. Most of the things are done by the machine. So it's very simple. So you should uh, try and do that. The one other thing that uh, would be interesting for, uh, for this machine is uh, we are asked all uh, you know quite a number of times whether the, you should use the uh, filter in the water tank so that's something that I'm not very um, in favor of because if you use a filter uh, although it's recommended in the book to use filters if you use a filter you must make sure that you change them regularly they can be quite expensive because you have to you know it's a specific filter for these machines so if you wanted to use them yes you can use them but make sure that you change them on a regular basis if you go on holiday for instance you cannot just leave your filter unattended you need to take it out put a new filter in when you come back so you can't get it soaked and left for a long time. So that's why I suggest that, you know, you can just use filtered water. So buy a jug or, you know, like a, a filter jug, use the normal filters that you would use if you are in a hard water area. 
uh, and then regularly descale the machine as we are doing now. That's really a good thing to do. So let me stop there and let, let, I ca let me come back and try and finish the video. Thank you. So I have now, uh, it has come to the stage where it says you need to fill water. It has finished the water. I have actually emptied the water that was collected in the jug. Now I have actually got some more water here, uh, fresh water. I'm going to fill it. So that's about full. Uh, I'll put this away and start collecting so I'm now ready to do the next stage so that is empty the jug is empty it says calc clean and a tick mark all I have to do is now that I've put water in there I just need to press that button so it starts again the second level of the descaling process So now basically what it is doing is just going through a rinsing cycle through both sides, just cleaning it through. So it doesn't have any uh, descaling liquid in the tank. I could have taken the tank out and rinsed it, but I just put some new water in, fresh water in. I can, when, when it finishes the whole uh, process, I can do that again rinse the the tank at this stage i'm not too interested in sort of you know rinsing the water tank but the second time when when it completely finishes you can take the tank out uh, and rinse it before you put it back in so let's wait for the next level now um, and uh, we'll come back to it so we'll pause at the moment pause now So the second level is fairly quick because it just rinses it through and it has now completed that and it comes up with a tick, calc clean. Uh, during that process you would hear some noises which are like the brewing unit moving backwards and forwards so don't worry about it because it has to go to the work position if it sends water through the middle to send water from here from the tank from the carafe it needs to be in its home position. So you'll find that there are whirring noises. Don't worry about it, it just carries on. So now we have finished. So I'm going to press the tick button and it's now heating up. So it is going to prepare for normal usage. At this point, once it sort of finishes that thing, what I normally would do is uh, take the tank out, uh, give it a good rinse, uh, before we go any further but I want to wait till it heats up and comes up to the normal level so that's doing the normal rinse as if you are starting off for the first time so hopefully it should come back to normal uh, ready for use menu So that's it. It's now ready. Uh, I have got uh, a tank, a uh, jug full of water here, which I have collected. Now, as I said, at this point, take the tank out and give it a good rinse. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, get some more water. So I've got a a, a tank full of fresh water and the descaling cycle is now complete and you are ready to make your coffee.
I hope it has been useful. Feel free to give us a call if you are unable to uh, sort of ca go through the whole process. Uh, there are, as I said, test videos, the diagnostic video, which is really helpful. You can go into it by a certain process. There are videos on that, so how to go in and uh, independently check the different functions of the machine uh, without really having to switch on the machine as a normal machine. So have a look at that. And if you uh, want to have uh, more videos, have a look at gadgetdirect.com and our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give us your comments about the video. Thank you for watching.